funding i believe i believe in never starting a phd without funding from the university or a recently awarded grant it is becoming more common for a phd students to do self funded research given the amount of money universities make and funding availability the burden of financing research should not come down to an individual a phd is not worth getting yourself into many thousands of dollars worth of debt as a return on investment has not been demonstrated a masters degree will be a much better return on investment for you also it is important to understand what happens if you need extension to your funding it is very common for phd students extend their phd research by months and sometimes years most universities and research supervisor can help support the research for another 6 months to a year asking about the worst case scenario should you require an extra few months to complete your phd will help alleviate any sense of panic should you get to the end and need to extend in some institution other smaller grants are often available for things such as printing your thesis binding it and getting it proofread by an editor be aware that there are different rules for international students and domestic students typically extension funding is more available to domestic students than to international phd researchers as an international student i was awarded an international fee waiver that paid my student international fees for 3 years and a phd scholarship for the same amount of time if i were to have handed in my phd thesis one day later it would have cost me 20000 australian dollar to enroll for that year not an ideal situation double check all the all of the information and opportunities when it comes to a funding financial stress is one of the first thing that can derail a phd and cause it to be much harder than necessary go through your finances and ensure that you have enough money and resources to live for multiple years to focus on your phd nothing kills creativity quicker than worrying about basic survival needs such as food and shelter mental health tune up before your phd it is also very important that you lay the foundation of good mental health and prepare yourself by learning specific methods for handling an anxiety and uncertainty due to the f- due to the ever evolving nature of research a phd is full of stress sometimes you will go months without feeling you have achieved anything other than failing at your research building up your resilience will help you survive your phd putting it putting in a little effort to ensure that you are fit healthy and mentally prepared before your phd is important learn your unique st- stressors before studying phd is very useful to learn what your stressors are each person has different reactions to stress because everyone has a unique way of perceiving things and understanding the world certain situations such as sleep job demands relationship com- com- conflicts or poorly working technological tools can cause you to trigger your stress response when you encounter stress many psychological changes can occur and often trigger the fight or flight response please make a moment to reflect on the things in your life that cause you to increase anxiety or things you actively avoid because you know that they stress you out sometimes in a phd there is no avoiding this stressor but knowing about them will allow you to identify things to tackle when you have fresh mind to or avoid doing when you are running low or mental resources for me it is the basic things like not getting enough sleep not eating healthy that can cause me to feel as if the whole world is against me taking a moment to reflect on my feelings and knowing that i feel 
not so great because of these two basic things helps me manage the top causes of stress include finances have you recently argued with loved ones about money or are you feeling guilty about spending money on non essentials this could be the early stages of financial stress work do you intend on having a part time job alongside your phd some people may feel overwhelmed with their busy job or career resulting from too much work job insecurity dissatisfaction with the career or conflicts with boss or co-workers personal relationship are you too busy spend time with your someone you love are you having difficulty communicating with your partner these symptoms are sign of stress that will only worsen during your phd it's time to tackle that problem head on personality quirks are you perfectionist who brings unnecessarily stress into your life because you have very high standards of what you should be able to achieve write down some moments in your life that cause stress identifying them will allow you to take a moment to look after yourself should you feel the anxiety rising grow support networks before a phd you should look at the support networks available to help you get through your phd these networks can be family friends but they can also be professionals and other mentoring services available through your university some universities provide uh, student counseling and mentoring for early career researchers and phd students speaking openly and honestly with your next of kin about what you are entering into is an important step to surviving your phd it was amazing how many people didn't know what a phd was or how much stress occurs during the process there is a misconception among some people that it is just a continuation of studying therefore they expect you to be as available as during your undergraduate years if you are an international student making sure that you have scheduled scheduled some catch ups with all friends is always a fantastic way of refreshing your motivation even if it is over conference sing service such as zoom it will be lifeline essential surviving your phd please make a list of all available service available services to you through your university and make sure that you use them grow your toolkit the last thing that would be very beneficial to for you to help you survive your phd is to grow your mental health toolkit these are these are th- there are many resources online that help you build the techniques some of the most important areas to grow your toolkit include communication learn ways to co- ways to say what you think and methods to manage this awkward conversation with phd supervisors stress build up strategies allow you to deal with anger and anxiety when things are not going your way things not going your way will happen a lot during your phd mindfulness mindfulness has been scientifically proven to help you accept your current situation and improve overall well-being recommendation mental health toolkits and apps here are some of the best online mental health toolkits you can use to ensure that you are in the best frame of mind for starting your phd and that you have the tools necessary for overcoming the uncertainty and challenges that a phd will inevitably pose apps headspace best for stress management through mindfulness mood tools mood tools is an app for students who feel sad or depressed mood tools aims to lift your mood by taking a simple depression test before having you enter a thought diary the self help for anxiety management by the university of west england for managing and tackling anxiety one to one therapy talk space talk space and very well came together to create an online therapy space that many students could benefit 
from there are licensed therapists available right away to help you better help better help costs around 240 dollar per month to start but it allows you to talk to a live therapist from anywhere on the live video well night some of some same day doctor consultation for those on a budget what to do to prepare for your phd there are a few things that you should do to prepare for a phd once you have been accepted and you are waiting for that all important first day interestingly these things have nothing to do with your phd topic or reading literature before your official start there are many more important things to focus on let's take a look